Hey guys, so in our previous tutorial, we have learned how to scan a Bluetooth devices that is a BLD devices and show it in our Flutter application in a list format. So this is the video tutorial. You can check it over here or you can just check out the I button over here. I will just link the video tutorial over there because this is a continuation of that part. So if you have not watched that previous tutorial, you might not be having the code of the previous tutorial that I have used. So I am going to continue the part. So in this part, we are going to learn how to connect to a particular device. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let me give you a quick knowledge about what has been done in my previous tutorial. So here I have created a Flutter project and for this project I am making use of dependencies like uh, Flutter Blue, Get and Permission Handler and then by making use of this Flutter Blue package I can scan my devices and show it in the list format. So here I have created the Bluetooth controller for that, a separate file where I am going to handle all the things related to Bluetooth scanning uh, or connecting to the Bluetooth devices will be done in this file. So this is the function that will just scan my Bluetooth device near me and give me the list of uh, scan devices and I can just make use of that scan devices to show in a list format. So now when I press on this button, I want to connect to that particular devices. So we will implement it in this tutorial. So if you want this source code, you can just visit my website protocoldespoint.com. You can just get the source code from there. So I will just provide this link in the description. You can just check it out. Okay, so now let's implement connecting to a BLA devices when the user tap on any item. Uh, that is BLD devices items over here. So for this we can make use of a property in this card widget that is on tab. So let's make use of that. So on tab and when the button when the item has been tapped I want to just call a function. So I will just create a function in this BLD controller uh, page over here. So I will just create a future function that is a sync await function void and I will just name this function as connect to device. And here I need to pass a parameter when the user tapped on any item for connecting the device. So I want to just pass an item from here to here, right? So here I'm going to pass uh, this uh, scan devices, a particular devices data. So here Bluetooth devices, devices, okay? And I can just pass it over here. So let me call that function. So I have a controller being created over here. So you can see. So I can make use of this controller to control this function. Okay, so here controller dot connect to device. So here I need to pass that particular device data. So it is data dot device. Okay, so when I press on this uh, item, this is the data that I'm going to pass to this function. So here I will just give a return statement so that I can just get rid of the error that is being shown. So I don't know why it has been showing an error. Okay, so a sync await I need to make use of, right? Okay, so here I will just print so that I can just check if this function is working or no. So I will just print device data over here. So hot refresh, so the application is running. So I think so it got disconnected. So I will just restart the application. Okay, so the application got restarted. So let me click on the scan button to scan my devices. So now when I press on any devices over here, so you can see I am just printing this device data over here. That is simply I am just passing this data, device data to this controller so that I can just handle it or connect to this particular device. So now let me show you how I can just connect to this device. Okay, so to connect to the device, I can just make use of this device with the connect method. So let me show you how. So here await device dot connect. So this will just connect to the device that you want to connect. Okay, so here we just need to provide a timeout function that is the duration function duration and I will just use second as 15 seconds. So now this will just connect to the particular device. So now if I want to check if the device got connected or no, I can just make use of another property called as device dot state. So here I just need to make use of question mark dot listen okay, and I will just name this event as is connected. Okay, so now here I can just make use of if condition device dot Okay, so it is sorry. So if it is connected, see connected, connected state is equal to Bluetooth device state dot connected. Then it means that Bluetooth got connected, else it is disconnected, else it is not connected. So I can just make use of if else statement over here if you want, or you can just make use of if condition over here. So I will just make use of if else statement. Okay, so if connected device Bluetooth 
device state dot disconnected okay so even you can just make use of connecting so you can just print it is connecting and once it is connected you can just show connected something like this connected and if it got disconnected you can just show disconnect so here i will just print a log device disconnected and the same thing for connecting device connected okay so here if you want you can just print the device that has been connected so device dot name you can make use of and same thing for connecting connecting to device connecting to this connected to this disconnected okay so let's check if this works or no so let me refresh so i need to hot refresh so i just will just stop the application and reinstall it okay so this is all you need to do for connecting to a BLE devices okay so the application got restarted so let me show you my BLE devices that I'm going to make use of in this tutorial so I'm going to just connect to this BLE device okay so you can see this is the good device okay so it is on so if I scan this I can just uh, get this so this is the first thing that is the Bluetooth devices that has been shown and it is near to my mobile device so it is showing on the top so if I connect so you can see the logs over here so device connected so you can see over here so it is showing it has already been connected already established already exist okay so let me do it again so you can see so it is already been connected so you cannot connect to this device again so you can see this is been warning been shown over here so you can see over here so it is been showing connected to this device so this log is getting worked so now if I think if I remove the battery of this it will show disconnect so it got disconnected because I was continuously trying to connect okay so let me connect to this again so here it is showing yeah so it is connected now and once I uh, disconnect or remove the battery of this it will just get disconnected so let me remove the battery of this Bluetooth device okay so this is the cell so i just removed the cell so let's wait for it to dis get disconnected so you can see it got disconnected so as soon as i removed the uh, battery from this device it got disconnected okay so this is how you can connect to any bla device in our flutter application so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as thank you